most of us think that it's always got to be behind the pulpit and it's always got to be in words but sometimes your life your life is a testimony the way you live your life before people the way um you go out and tell others you know um sometimes you you don't have to talk but sometimes you show it somebody see the blessings in your life how you What's up my love bugs and love muffins, it's Mama Love and I am back with another video. Um, I just want to tell you all to be encouraged because of the simple fact that we could be encouraged, have been encouraged yesterday and the day before, but sometimes as we live and keep going through life, um, we tend to get dis discouraged again. And I know a lot of us do that because we're human. Um, day by day that this thing is going on, um, I hate to even give it a name, um, you know, people have a way of promoting fear. That's why you got to protect your ear gates and your eye gates from what you hear and what you see. You know, you could be just not, uh, uh, getting a good encouragement, you know, to come out of prayer and the Lord encouraged you with his word and, oh my God, he sent somebody along to give you a word and he was like, you know, that's confirmation to the word I just read in the, in, in the Bible that the Lord gave me. So I know that's confirmation. You feeling good. But then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying? We could click on something, see something. Uh, people got a, a, a good way of, uh, uh, messaging you on, uh, Facebook, sending you, uh, things that's fearful this is gonna happen back away from your phone from from three to uh four or something's gonna happen to your body and all, and all kind of stuff you know and it's like you got to be careful what you listen to and what you see you know and so i just wanted to encourage y'all to let y'all know that god is still sitting on the throne you know he's still healing um his word is not going to change from yesterday and the day going to be a different story um if it's psalms 91 yesterday it's psalms 91 today simple as that his word is the same yesterday today and forever god's word will never change it's never going to go uh Come, uh, go out and, and, and return unto him void. It's never going to do that because he is not a God that should lie, nor the son of man that he should uh, repent. So I'm thankful for the word of God. I'm thankful, y'all. I'm going to tell you about an episode that I had last night. I had anxiety, and this is why I wanted to come on here and let y'all know to, I want to encourage y'all again because um, I know that where my help comes from. I know that if I call on him and I cry out to him, uh, he's my very present help in a time of trouble. I know that if I look unto the hill for which come of my help, he's going to help me. You know what I'm saying? He's my help. My help comes from him. Um, but last night I was sitting here and I was having these symptoms. Now this is what fear promotes. This is what listening and hearing will do to negative stuff. I started like my hands was hot. My feet was hot. I didn't have no chills or nothing. But the enemy was telling me, oh, yeah, you coming down with the fever. See, now you got it, you know. And, uh, and I'm thinking, you know, I'm backtracking in my mind like, I ain't dead. Wait a minute, hold up. I ain't been aware. And if I have, I went straight out of the house into my car. Windows rolled up. Hand sanitizer, gloves, mask. I'm good. Uh, wherever I went, I didn't even go near people. Um, I rolled through either a, a drive up, pull up or whatever. Or I may send one of the kids in on the store where they all masked up and you know gloves and for a hot second to go get this or whatever i'm just not out here joy riding if i have to go out and get something it's household supplies or whatever needs we may have a, a, a prescription fill or whatever you know so i'm sitting up here backtracking like the world did i and i could be you know i asked on the kids what, what, what's the heat on or um tina is you hot feel my hair you know that type of stuff you know just kept going through until i got tired and i got angry you know I'm a type of person that I don't like to be uh, living in fear because I know I don't have to. God told us not to fear nothing. He told us not to worry and be anxious for nothing. He told us that he didn't give us the spirit of fear, but the spirit of love, peace, and of a sound mind. And I know the word and I stand on the word and I believe his word. And so therefore I went to God and started praying, you know, like, oh Lord, let me go in prayer because, you know, Satan, the Lord rebuke you. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I plead the blood. You know, there's nothing wrong on my body. You're not going to sit here and put these thoughts and things in my head like I'm having symptoms. God got me covered. Just like every time I dot my door, um, I anoint my head with oil, lay hands on myself, and ask God to cover me and cover uh, the children as well. You know, because I'm a firm believer in that. If you, I'm a firm believer in um, the slogan, if you're going to pray, don't worry. If you're going to worry, don't pray. 
That's the, I, I'm a strong believer in that. So I believe in what I pray for because he told me in his word that whatever I uh, believe on when I pray and I ask for in his name, um, it shall be done. It shall be um, given unto me. So um, I'm thanking him for his word or whatever. And, and you know, those, those symptoms, of course, they went away. Um, but it wasn't nothing but the enemy. You know what I'm saying? It was an enemy that trying to uh, put that fear in me, that paranoia, that anxiety. It raises up at night. You know what I'm saying? Because we got so much time on our hands, y'all. Because everything is shut down. You know, activities and things like that. And um, so we're all in the house. We're all up. I'm pretty sure everybody's schedule is off for sleep. Um, you know, I thought today was Monday all day. I thought yeah, tomorrow was my birthday all day. You know what I'm saying? But today is only Tuesday because... I wasn't in church uh, uh, Sunday. None of us were. You know what I'm saying? So it's got me all through off and everything. But I'm thanking the Lord that his word, man, I I'm just so thankful that his word never changes. And I'm thankful for who he is to me. Because one thing this, this, this has done, and I almost said one thing that's fast. <laughs> one thing that's fast has done for me. Uh, well, our church used to go on a fast. Our bishop used to, um, he would go around and pick different ones and say, what has this fast done for you? And we get all, you know, tell what this fast has done. And that's where that come from. But wow, it's almost like this is a fast. You know what I'm saying? Fasting from distractions. You know, uh, if we look at it that way, it's a spiritual fast. Um, and I say that because of the uh, uh, things that distract us. Malls, shopping, uh, uh, which is bars, casinos, you know, stores. Eating, sitting down, eating, being around your friends. That's a fast. We are on a fast, okay? But anyway, during this uh, pandemic, the world would say, but I'm going to call it a fast because the Lord does things to get our attention. And he, he may be angry with the wicked, but for the saints, he's getting their attention. He's gathering them. But for this, I'm going to say fast because that just came out. Um, this has gotten me closer to God than never before because... He's preparing his people, y'all, because the rapture is about to take place. God is coming back. He's coming back soon. This is a way for him to gather his backsliders because God is married to the backsliders. Um, his way of getting their attention. Um, God, you got my attention. You ain't got to do nothing to me to get my attention. Here I am. Yes, Lord, to your will. Yes, Lord, to your way. And um, prayer, <laughs> my prayer life has been, and I'm pretty sure y'all, my prayer life has been more and more powerful each Sorry, day. Yeah, if I have to backtrack, I, I, I had to answer an important call. Um, but anyways, uh, I lost my train of thought. Um, that's okay. I just want to say um, sometimes you have to uh, go back and be encouraged again. So I, I, I needed that. And when I went to him uh, in prayer... Um, I was encouraged again because um, I had to go back, y'all, and I had to also read Psalms 91 and I had to play it um, in my ear. With my, you know, I told you I had the app that I play on the um, my phone, and I had to listen to His word, and He reassured me again. That's what's so good about God. You have that reassurance in Him uh, that you can go back and say, "Lord, this this, this hurts again. This is bothering me again." That's why I'm so glad that God is not like man because he, he hears us and he don't treat us you know, again. Hey, you come back again. Didn't I just tell you this and that? He's not like man. Thank you, God, that he's a loving, patient, long-suffering God. That's one of the gifts of the Spirit. Long-suffering, y'all. He's a long-suffering God. And no matter how many times I go back to him, he's not going to turn me away. You know, he's going to, he, he understands, he knows. He knows I'm coming before I came back. He knows. You know what I'm saying? So I want to tell y'all that having that blessed assurance in God is a really, like, a, it, it really, how can I say it? It assures you. Simple as that. It assures you. Um, it gives you hope. You know, he's building our faith during these times. You know, I've been in the Lord's face, I'm telling you, and I have developed a relationship with him, not going to him uh, oh, because I'm going to church on Sunday and Wednesday and some Fridays. and That don't do it. It's a relationship that we have with him day by day. Yeah, I watch what I say. I watch what I do. I watch my life. Um, if I did this wrong, I knew this wasn't right. I'm, I'm quick to repent, you know. But I'm talking about, you know, 
I don't want to be just in his face because I, I'm afraid. I'm praying to you now because I'm afraid. You know, blessed are those who fear the Lord. You know what I'm saying? Okay. But he doesn't want us to serve him out of fear. He wants to serve, serve him out of because we love him. Because of what he does for us. Because of who he is to us. And a lot of people get it twisted and messed up when they say, oh, you out here uh, uh, scaring these people. You know, somebody had left a comment and say, you know, you out here scaring these people. He don't want them to serve us. In, serve him in fear. I wasn't, I dare not, I dare not promote fear because I get on people all the time about posting all this fearful stuff on Facebook about this gonna happen and this gonna happen this and the 5G and the, the government up to this and blah, 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 whatever. God is up to it, okay? God's hands in it, it's gonna be all right. Okay, best believe he's in control. You know what I'm saying? He's in control. The enemy have to go to him to get permission to do anything. He, he don't do everything on his own. You got to go to God. He's got to go to God to get permission to even have a pandemic or anything. And, and best believe if God given permission, there's a lesson that God wants out of this. The, uh, the lesson, I'm sorry, a lesson that God wants us to get out of this. Okay, and so a lot of it has gotten some of you all's attention, you know, um, a lot of, some of them got from y'all, you turn from y'all wicked ways. A lot of, uh, a lot of y'all, uh, uh, had a problem with y'all family members. Y'all ain't talked to in years. Um, it allowed you to let go of grudges. It allows you to get to know your partner more. Oh, that's what he was going through. Oh, okay. You know, allow everybody to communicate more. The distractions were shut down. You know, God know what he doing. I see his hand all up in this. So I just wanted y'all to be encouraged in things. And I know I'm jumping all over, but my mind has got so much to say about, the things that he do, you know, how he encouraged me, how he encouraged me, y'all. I'm telling y'all, stay in his face, stay in his face. And if, if you, if you felt good yesterday and today you're not feeling good, then maybe tomorrow, you know what I'm saying? Go back to the drawing board, go back to the word of God, go back to prayer. Let him reassure you again. He ain't going to turn you away. You know, God is good, y'all. God is a good... <laughs> He's a good, loving guy. I just want to encourage y'all with that. Um, so much that I had said in my first video that accidentally got erased. You know, um, God is good. God is good. That's okay. Maybe I said something in there he didn't want me to say. Maybe he wanted me to leave out a certain part I put. I don't know. But all I know is, hey, we re record again, push the button. Um, say what I got to say for him. Um, and let that do it. I know that, um, when I speak and talk about inspiration, I know that my views, uh, don't always be as big as if I'm talking about my firstborn or if I'm talking about drama or I may slip something out or say something or whatever, then it's drama, you know, but I, I appreciate the fact that, um, people can come to me in person, DM me or uh, email me and say that my uh, words have inspired them. And I always want to say to God be the glory for the things that he has done because I don't want to take credit for nothing that God is using me for. I'm just a vessel that he's using. And I um, just simply give exhortation or I can give my testimonies or I can give encouragement. I'm not saying that I'm no type of evangelist, no preacher, no teacher in no type of way. Um, I'm just here to encourage and I wanted to do something different with my channel. Um, I know how to get views if I, if, I, if I wanted them. I know how to get them, best believe. But I'm not, it's not for that. You know, if I could reach but one or two, but three or four, you know, um, to God be the glory. Because that's important. Because you know why, y'all? I always say it. Only what you do for Christ will last. I just want y'all to be encouraged to... This is, this is, this is too much for us. Um, but God... He does not put no more on us than we can bear. Just go back to the drawing board, meaning go back to prayer. Go back in prayer. If it's bothering you and you get anxiety again, you may get in, I may get anxiety tomorrow night. I'm going back in prayer. I know where my help come from. I know, you know. Um, I just wanted to tell y'all that. I just wanted y'all to be encouraged because that's what I encountered last night. And I'm thinking to myself, you know what? They probably encountering that too. A lot of us is going through the same thing. Our sleep pattern and everything is turned off. It's just, we eating, to be eating. Um, get your word out. Go back to your, to the word. Go back into prayer. And God will bring you out every time. Because it ain't, like I said, it ain't never been a time that I, 
I went to him and um, his word is the same today, yesterday, and forever. He ain't going to change his word. I just want y'all to be encouraged, y'all. I hate that video got deleted, but I hope what I said tonight encouraged y'all. Blessing assurance that you can go to him and be assured that everything is going to be all right. I didn't change it. You know what I'm saying? I could go back and, Lord, is this, it, says, it hasn't changed. It hasn't changed. Everything is going to be all right. This too shall pass. And then you go on and you're feeling good and you come back. Oh, Lord, this is I'm starting to worry me again. I know you said be anxious for nothing. You are sure all is well. This too shall pass. Trust him. Trust him. Trust him. But thank God that he's not like man. Because if you go back to man, you're going to wear their last nerve. Thank you, Jesus, that you're not like man. Y'all, be blessed. Peace out. In Jesus' name.